Welcome to another episode of the School of Business and Technologies Alumni Spotlight Series. Our guest today is Moya Reed. Uh, Ms. Reed, would you please tell us about yourself, such as the year that you graduated and your current position? Sure. Hi, my name is Moya. I'm from Jamaica. I came to HC in 2014. I graduated in 2018. I'm currently a tax associate in the federal group at PwC um, Houston, and but I live in Austin right now. <laughs> Very cool. So is that because you're working remotely? Yes. Ah, nice. Are they, or is there any talk about having to go back into the office pretty soon or anything? I mean, they've been talking about opening a few offices, but I don't think mine will be one of them just because of the cases that are in Houston, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just wondering. Um, <laughs> very cool. So what made you choose Houston Tillotson University for your education? Sure. So um, initially, when I was <laughs> at home, I took the SATs and um, my mom told me about this school because her friend works there. Don Casanova, shout out. <laughs> and yeah, and then she told me about a scholarship and I was like, a scholarship? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and so after I took the SATs, after I got my scores, I told my mom that if they don't, if they don't want to give me this scholarship without with these scores, I'm not taking the SATs over. And then, so once I got into the school and I got on the website, I saw that it was actually really cool, like a cool, small campus. And I feel like that is something I've always looked for in a school because universities at home are just super huge with thousands of students and you're literally a number. So I feel like that was one of the biggest things that drew me to HT and you know once getting to the campus you realize how friendly everyone was like almost creepily friendly but you get used to it you know <laughs> but yeah that that was kind of you know my journey to get here in a sense yeah sounds like a, a lovely journey to have followed and that's awesome that your mom um had a friend already in the institution to kind of help you um, sort of feel a little, a little, just a smidge, just a speckle of support, you know, extra, yeah. a little bit of extra support. Um, yeah. so that's nice. That's really nice. And um, I, I wish that I had had your um, understanding of your, your personal boundaries and what works for you, because I made the mistake of going to a really large university uh, mm -hmm. when I was 18 and I, I drowned, I could not, oh, it did no. not work out for me. So, um, that's awesome that you knew what works best for you and you went for it. Um, and that you had the opportunity for a scholarship. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, so if you could figure out or, or choose one favorite mm -hmm. moment at HT, could you please mm -hmm. share what that favorite moment, uh, was for you? I will just preface this by saying most of my favorite moments were with like the international community and that's just because we are a very tight-knit group but I guess like one of my favorites I would say was our um, international fashion show in my last year I just feel like yeah it just culminated everything that we went through in the last four years and we were like giving them looks, giving them, you know, the dances and the music and just everything coming together and getting, being able to share that with the HT community during homecoming. I feel like that was definitely one of my favorite moments. But yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, I love it. I love when people can share their cultures with each other. It's so much fun to learn about the ways that other cultures work with each other and, and work together and everything. So thank you so much for bringing that to the campus and, and, and you know, being part of a group that showed everyone that that sounds like so much fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was. So why did you decide to major in accounting specifically? Um, so in high school, you had to choose a specific number of subjects to take for a regional exam. And um, 
science was never for me. I always did the business subjects, but I never necessarily knew which one until probably about my last year in high school, um, where I really fell in love with accounting because of my accounting teacher and stuff. And so that kind of led to that. And then also when, once I got to campus, <laughs> There's um, this guy who was a senior at the time, Josh. He was like, are you a business major? Okay, you're going to join NABA. And so <laughs> I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> and then, um, but I already knew I wanted to do accounting. So I feel like that was like just the perfect fit. Um, yeah, and a lot of that just stemmed from seeing, you know, at home that people weren't necessarily financially literate. I feel like if... I could um, gain more knowledge on stuff like that. I could somehow bring some of those skills back to home, whether it's while I'm here or if I do go back, you know what I mean? So that's where it mostly stemmed from. Absolutely. I love that humanitarian viewpoint that you have of, you know, possibly bringing these skills, like you said, back home and everything. That's wonderful. Um, could you expand a little bit more on this group that you joined uh, when mm -hmm. you went to HT? Yes, NABA. <laughs> NABA was life. Um, <laughs> so NABA is the National Association of Black Accountants. And I mean, it wasn't just for Black people. I guess it just started like that. But um, we basically were mentored by um, professionals who were in the accounting field, well, accounting finance field. And so they would do things like, um, so they partnered with Dell there in, here in Austin. Um, and we'd have like a day at Dell in the fall, right before we had our regional conference. And that's where they would like prepare us with mock interviews and showing us how to do our resumes and just general professionalism overall. And then we'd go to our regional conference where you could interview with like Fortune 500 companies looking for diverse talent and stuff like that. So I feel like that was like the easiest way into a lot of these companies. And that that's how I found myself in PwC is through NABA and the connections that I made and um, just everything that we got to do and experience with the people we met there. That's amazing. That is awesome. Yeah, because PwC is a huge, huge company. And I know it's full cutthroat to kind of get it to be able to land a position there. So yeah. that's amazing. Like making those connections, honestly, connections are everything. You know, it's, sure. it's always who you know. Um, so that that's wonderful. I love that that's an organization that's available. I'm assuming it's it's still available. It's HTU. I'll, yeah, I'll, it that. Is. I'll, I'll double check. That. <laughs> It um, is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, so uh, what did you like the most about being in the School of Business and Technology? Um, I guess it would also go back to the networks that you meet because I feel like at the time um, Dr. Edmund was dean and he just literally made like connecting with people outside of, you know, the HT community per se so accessible, whether it was through NABO or through other organizations like Toastmasters or um, the business Greek society that we had. Like it was just so easy for us to meet people in professions that we would aspire to be in. And so, um, especially people who look like us, you know, and being able to see people like that and hear their journeys and hear their stories and stuff like that, I feel like that was just an amazing part. And then he also was always like trying to push us to be better, to do better. Um, and then just, <laughs> I mean, I got to go to China for, um, for study abroad. And I feel like that was amazing. Like, I don't think I would have, have ever, you know, made the choice to go to China on my own like that. Mm -hmm. um, so just being able to do that through the business school and even get credit for being there, you know, was just, I feel like there was just so many things <laughs> about the business school that were just amazing. And the professors, I feel like, pushed us even a little more than, you know, the other schools in the 
um, in HT. So in general, and the relationships I had with my professors were amazing. <laughs> Dr. Thompson, oh, jeez. <laughs> um, but yeah it's just so overall I feel like relationships were the biggest thing that um I feel like the SBT gave us and that we could like capitalize on that's wonderful thank you thank you for sharing that I know that there were a lot of moving parts in there and you definitely mm -hmm. put them together in a nice little nice little package <laughs> Um, so to kind of pivot from the relationships um, for just a moment, <clears throat> how do you feel like the education that you received from the School of Business and Technology has contributed to your career success? I would say um, the things that we learned in class, a lot of them do honestly apply. Um, I would just say that in general, if like, cause I know a lot of people at HT, sometimes they struggle in class. And I think just going to the professor and asking for that extra help, you know, all the time. Um, if you want to learn something that maybe isn't being taught in class, but you want it to, to be more industry-based, I feel like doing things like that kind of helps prepare me for, um, you know, real, the real world work. Um, but generally, I feel like we do get the education we need. It's just that we just need to know how to and when to apply it. And so, yeah, I feel generally, and I feel like anyways, most of the things you do on the job, you learn on the job. It's just those other soft skills and those basics that you need to, to understand, you know, bigger concepts when you go into the work world is what you get from HT. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really important. And being able to gain those skills before going into the workplace gives you a, a head start, basically. On that note, would you recommend uh, the School of Business and Technology at HT and why? I think I know your answer. <laughs> yeah, I would 100% recommend it. And just because of all the opportunities that I feel like I have gained from you know, internships to scholarships to study abroad experiences to the relationships that you build with your professors, even after leaving the school. I mean, the other day I was texting Miss Buchanan, like, it's just amazing how much you get to bond with those people. And on top of that, just, I feel like for me, like I mentioned before, the small class size, which of course, lead to those relationships. So it's just a culmination of things that um, can help you succeed. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So in that case, what would you say to corporations about investing in the School of Business and Technology? To corporations, I would say HT breeds really good, diverse students who are always willing to learn and um, are always, what's the word? <laughs> They're always willing to learn, which would be my main thing. And um, investing in HT, they would not regret it because we have not only academically, you know, astute students, but they're generally very well-rounded people in general. So, cause we get help in all aspects of professionalism, not just, you know, having the technical background, but also the professionalism. Yes. Thank you for sharing that. Um, so kind of a fun question to throw your way. Uh, mm -hmm. What are the top, uh, top three skills that every accountant needs to have? Attention to detail would definitely be my top. Number two, I would say, um, just being able to analyze in a sense um, when things don't necessarily make sense. Don't always just, I guess, keep exactly. silent about it. Yeah, just accept it, always ask questions. Being able to be inquisitive about um, things, not necessarily letting things slide um, is always a big thing because you never know how much you can improve someone's 
situation. And because I'm in tax, I'm always thinking about, you know, improving someone's tax position, but in that sense, yeah. And then just being able to um, relate with your fellow coworkers, because I feel like, especially in the situation that we are in now, with the pandemic it's not as easy as you know being in the office and saying hey let's grab coffee but being able to you know be intentional about reaching out to your coworkers and being able to always being a student basically trying to learn from um people who have been there before you so and those relationships with your coworkers are very important uh definitely mm. um and attention to detail oh my gosh as an accountant <laughs> I <can> never. <laughs> and I really appreciate you calling attention to being inquisitive that is just oh my gosh and that skill can translate to any position um exactly. you cannot stay silent when something doesn't make sense you cannot just sit there and not say anything about that you, you have to you have to bring it you know bring it to the surface um so thank you for touching on that um, so one final question for you, um, mm -hmm. what were your key takeaways that your first position taught you? Okay. So this is my first position. <laughs> so. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> what are some things that you have mm -hmm. learned that are going to stick with you, you think forever? <laughs> yeah. So, um, that inquisitive thing, that is one thing that, um, I feel like has kind of been pounded on and then um, being able to um, take on diverse perspectives on different topics. I feel like that has been like something that is being cultivated in us to understand that everyone has, you should always listen to different perspectives, um, no matter if you agree or disagree and just, um, finding a way to find common ground at all times to make solutions work, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> My mind is like. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I got you. Like being able to gain a multitude of perspectives so that way you can make a holistically based choice or decision um, because you're taking all of, all of the, yeah. uh, encompassing all of these perspectives absolutely absolutely and then the last thing I would say is don't be afraid to make mistakes people will not <laughs> cut off your head for making one mistake <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah that's perfect. just that's always really be important. a learner <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> yeah if you end up uh, making decisions out of fear you will not get anywhere that you need to go so yeah, you can't, you can't just uh, walk around scared all the time. So yeah, that's really important as well. Well, Moya, it's been such a pleasure chatting with you this morning. Thank you so much Thanks. for taking time out of your day to talk to us and um, allow us to interview you. This was so much fun. <laughs> of course.